Hi, my name is Daniela. I teach, I write, I advise on design. Design is my passion. Design is everywhere. Design improves our lives, defines our taste, and determines our surroundings. It can even broadcast who we are and who we aspire to be. Here are my latest thoughts on design. The trend I'm talking about is gourmet food trucks. They're noted for exceptional graphics, innovative kitchen design, and restaurant quality cuisine. They are mobile kitchens relying on creative design to maximize small spaces and on brilliant visuals to market their exclusive products. The days of outdoor food being defined by hot dog push carts are well behind us. Immigrants from Europe brought the tradition of food carts to America, and by 1900, they were very popular in New York City. Items range from roasted corn or steamed oysters to baked chickpeas. To find the roots of mobile catering in America, we look to Charles Goodnight. He was a Texas ranger who needed to feed hungry cowboys. So in 1866, he invented the chuck wagon. But chuck wagons were not designed to attract attention. That wouldn't happen until 1936, when Oscar Mayer introduced the first winner mobile a major development in marketing and food service. Thank you. Over the past three or four years, a growing number of industrial and graphic designers have been creating mobile environments. This aesthetic is so specific and successful that you can see these trucks popping up in all kinds of neighborhoods. The design not only meet all health and safety requirements, but loudly announce unique identities that promise an authentic culinary experience. This trend began in New York City with one small, family-owned company. In 2001, they arrived in the East Village with an eccentric orange truck. The mud truck offered strong, aromatic coffee for only a dollar. Many of New York's trendy food trucks were developed after the crash of 2008. Displayed financial professionals focused their talents on the food business, using their expertise in research, planning, and marketing. Schnitzel and Things introduced Viennese specialties to the streets of New York. The graphics of this truck were devised by a student from Parsons. Research indicated that these colors stimulated appetite, and judging from the lunch line, they do. The Cool House ice cream truck owes its name and its concept to the Bauhaus School of Design and to the Dutch architect Rem Koolhaas. It's decorated with photos and puns featuring famous architects. This cleverness reflects the Koolhaas approach in combining boutique ice cream flavors and cookie textures. The stuff at Waffers and Digis wear casquettes or cycling caps, a witty visual reference to Eddie Merckx and the popularity of Belgian bike racing. New York's food truck phenomenon combines serious food with fresh design. It's an indication of the public's newfound awareness of food sourcing and a consumer preference for genuine products. Gourmet food trucks combine serious food with fresh visuals that attract people to public spaces where they indulge their appetites and design.